YouTube. This is your girl, Lady Day Rosetta May. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be reviewing two products. Uh, the first product is going to be the Besame Cold Cream. So I'm going to show you the packaging and everything. And so this is a very beautiful cold cream packaging. Look at the sides. Okay. And so I'm going to review this. I use, if you guys have seen any of my other videos, I am a skincare fanatic. I am very, very into making sure that my skin is clean, it is clear, and that it is plump, all right? Again, at 33 years old, you got to make sure that your skin looks good. So I am going to read the directions for the cold cream. It says a brightening cream that effortlessly removes even the most stubborn makeup. High in vitamin E, the cream protects lipid levels and enhances elasticity. Rinse with water and the cream melts into a liquid, leaving the skin bright, soft, and residue free. Application, apply a small amount to the face on top of makeup without wetting the skin. Um, gently massage to lift away dirt and makeup, rinse with water to remove. So I don't have makeup on. I'm just gonna show you how to use it as a facial cleanser because that is also another way you can use it. Now, the cream looks like this. This is a large amount of cream, guys. So. It also comes with a golden spoon. All right, so I'm gonna take this beautiful spoon here. I'm gonna open up the cream. This is a lot. Has a protectant plastic there. And here is the cream. So I'm gonna, it said a small amount. So I'm just actually gonna first use the small amount to see how much that will look like. So that's how, how much they're asking us to use on our faces. Now, I will be showing a little bit later in this video a full face of makeup and using this cream to take the makeup off. So, going in, placing the top and everything back on, I'm going to add water. Add water to the cream. Okay water in my hand there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and rub it in. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and it's telling us to move upward along the jawline. Okay. Now the cream, the cold cream itself, it feels very, it, it has moisture. It has moisture. Going in to the eyelids, of course. We're acting as if we have, acting as if we have makeup on. Seeing the forehead. Okay, so it says apply to the chin. It says apply to the lips to remove lipstick. Okay. So, I'm trying to follow the directions here. Going in, and I'm just using this as a cleaner, okay, as a cleanser. I always wash my face with my fingers or with a like an actual cleansing brush before this application for this example I am using my fingers then it says to remove so remove cream with cleansing tissue or warm moist towel so I'm going to use a paper towel I'm going to put some warm water on 
Okay, and it says, all right, so remove the cream, start at the forehead, and follow along the contours of your face. So start on the forehead, and remove along the contours of your face, okay. So, on the forehead, Okay, so that's how my forehead is looking along the contours of my face. Okay, I don't have a lot of dirt coming off along the contours of my face. Okay, just gotta keep removing. Okay. Okay. So this is how my face looks after the cold cream. Not that much of a difference from my regular cleanser. Um, the, so the cleanser that I use nine times out of 10 is the Aveeno, okay? The Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser. Now this, that cleanser is very um, soft and it has a foam to it. Then it says we're going to finish with the neck. All right. So we're going to finish with the neck, so I'm going to apply this cold cream to my neck, okay, and I have a, I think I still have a little bit of cold cream, I'm just going to blot, I'm going to blot that, okay, so, alright, so I don't have any drying using this cold cream. I don't have any drying. It's not sticking to any dry spots or anything. It's fine. So now I'm gonna apply the cold cream to my neck and massage into my neck. All right, so I'm gonna take the cold cream, okay? And this is really because they don't want you to like stick your fingers in, have bacteria going into the, into the cream. Okay, so again, applying that warm water to the cream, making it into a liquid. Okay, this cream does not have a major scent to it. So I'm just going to apply to my neck. Apply to my neck. Now I'm trying to go into like an upward motion. Okay. Alrighty. So that's my neck. <laughs> All right. And then again, I'm going to go in with a warm towel, moist towel, using a paper towel. And I'm going to remove the cream from my neck so removing the cream that way is to kind of re kind of leave that moisture there so it's not overly drying this cream is not like the pond's cold cream pond's cold cream is oily as all get out and it is not like pond's at all so i'm gonna go in wipe up the cold cream Okay, so I'm wiping that cold cream up and off of my neck. Okay, it's again, not overly drying. So I'm gonna pat dry because I hate that wet feeling. So this is how my skin looks after using the Besame Cosmetics Cold Cream. It is not overly dry. There is a small amount of moisture going on there. Okay, it doesn't strip the skin. Not bad, Besame, not bad. So now <laughs> I am going to actually apply the vanishing cream. So the vanishing cream can be used as a primer, as a makeup primer. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put this puppy away. Okay, so we're gonna use the vanishing cream, putting this away. This, I'm gonna tell you guys really honestly, 
The cold cream will last you for months. It will last you for months. I am not playing games. That cold cream, that is a very, very large container. Um, according to the packaging, let me see. That is 3.5 ounces. 3.5 ounces of cold cream. And so it, it's not bad. That's not bad. All right. So I'm going to go in again. Here's the vanishing cream. So this vanishing cream is considered a moisturizing primer with metal foam seed oil and vitamin A. So using the directions and my handy dandy baby spoon. Okay. So I'm going to read you guys the directions for the vanishing cream. And here's what it looks like. It's very old school, very 1930s almost. So, the Vanishing Cream, a moisturizing primer that prepares skin for makeup application. The Metafoam Seed seals in moisture with Lily Extract, addresses the look of even uneven skin tone. The Vitamin A helps vanish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Use a primer or mix with foundation to create a custom tinted moisturizer. So we're gonna do both of those today. Um, application after cleansing, apply cream to face and gently patting the skin to help absorption. So taking this, this is the cold cream. All right. It also has a plastic cover. Now this kind of has a little bit of a yellow tint a little bit of a yellow tint almost to the cream so i'm going to take my little spoon and i'm going to do half and half so i'm going to do half primer on this side and then i'm going to actually mix it with the foundation that i use every day i feel like that was a bit too much but that's okay so i'm going to apply this halfway on my face and just blend it up so half of my face I'm gonna have this in and just moisturize and put it in so this half on this side will be the tinted moisturizer okay all right guys so hang in there be right back okay guys so this is like a another little moisturizer that I have but here is my foundation and here is the cream, okay? So I used one little golden spoon of the cream, okay? I'm gonna use that little spoon and I'm gonna mix the foundation together. The found This foundation is uber matte, okay? And when I say uber matte, I mean, it's an incredibly matte foundation. It is the Jueva's Place Velvety Matte Foundation. And I'm not gonna use the entire little dollop of foundation that I am mixing in with the um, with the vanishing cream so I pretty much I'm not gonna put any foundation on this side this is the side that I applied the vanishing cream to by itself I'm actually going to apply foundation separately so I'm using this brush here this is a kind of flat top kabuki brush and I'm going to just Kind of put a dollop okay a foundation okay i know so vanishing cream is in here foundation mixed together so i'm going to go ahead and apply this foundation i'm going to stipple under my eye i always do that i'm going to go halfway So there's my nose stippling where my eyes are, going up. I like this foundation because it does a little bit of a brightening, but it does go down and matte down. So here we go. This is what my foundation looks like. Okay. 
it has thinned out the foundation a little bit. Okay, so this is what my foundation looks like with the vanishing cream. I'm going to apply a little bit more foundation, a little bit to my forehead here, just a little bit there. Trying not to use a massive amount of makeup. Okay. And I'm not going to mat this down with my Besme powder. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep going, stippling in halfway. So this is foundation face, primer face. All right. So this is what it looks like. It it's still giving me a little bit of that full coverage. So I only used a dollop, okay? A dollop of foundation with the cold cream. So it mixed together. Now I'm just going to go and take some foundation, try not to be heavy handed here, and then just, all right. So that's just going to be foundation by itself. Okay. Real Techniques brush. Okay. And I'm just going to go in with the foundation itself and then just stipple it in. Now I do, I can tell automatically that the foundation is sticking to my skin with this vanishing cream already. I mean, I only like, it was, I mean, it's not that much at all foundation and it is adhering to my skin like butter. I mean, it's just pretty much white on rice, sticking to my skin right away. Now, I'm going to say right now that this primer, this vanishing cream, is not as moisturizing as maybe people would want it to be. I would use this um, more, yeah. So, I would see, now there's a little bit, this is like a lot more coverage here. Okay. A lot more coverage on this side. Now, if you like that full coverage, go for it. Just put the cream on and then put your foundation on. If you're looking for a little bit of, you know, your skin to come through, mix it in with the actual cream. So this is what my skin looks like. Mixed in vanishing cream and then vanishing cream and the put on your face first and then put on your foundation so this is what my skin is looking like now again like i said this is a lot of full coverage here not so much on this side okay it's not so full coverage pores are coming through a little bit but i like it it's not bad okay so if you're looking for a primer that your makeup is going to adhere to this one right here, the Vanishing Cream from Besame, very nice, very nice. I like it and it's mattifying. It doesn't make my skin super oily because I have a oil problem in my T-zone, okay? So, I am going to finish my face and I'll be right back with my review, all right? All right, guys, so here I am with a full face of vintage makeup, okay? And so, um, I am going to be using the cold cream to take off half my face all right so i'm going to use a dollop of cold cream okay dollop of cold cream okay right there right here okay i'm going to add the water like i did before adding the water okay and i'm going to try to do half my face hopefully it will work out the way i want it to so going in warm water adding cold cream creating that liquid mm, i think this is gonna work i think this is gonna work really well 
I feel that oil, that vitamin E oil. I feel that. So going in. Ooh, that was an automatic. And I am taking that cold cream. And it looks like it is really trying to melt away. Really trying to melt away the makeup. So I'm going into my lipstick. This is a Besame lipstick. Sometimes they were hard to get off. So, oof, okay. Eyes going up to my forehead. Oh, there go the brow. That was a wrap. Okay. Taking that warm water. And I mean, this is melting off my skin, guys. This is really melting off my skin. Taking it up onto my eye. I used the um, Yes, They're Real mascara. So that mascara is pretty hard to get off. Let's see if it will come off. All right, I think it did. All right, so I'm going to rinse my hands really quickly. Rinsing my hands off. Okay, so I did half my face. I look crazy. Okay. All right. I look like Emilio Recoletti from the Sherlock. If you guys, any of my Sherlock people out there. Okay, ooh. Emilio Recoletti. The bride. Oh, whoa. Okay, so it did a pretty good job. I'm just taking and wiping it off. Okay. All right, well, that was not as much scrubbing that I would normally have to do to take off my makeup. Not as much scrubbing, guys. So, this is my face with the makeup off on, and this is my face with the makeup being washed off by the vanishing cream. Okay, now I can tell you, the vanishing cream works really well for this. Really, really, really well. To take off makeup, yes. I'm not sure if I would use it as an everyday cleanser. I'm not sure. I have to use it uh, like for maybe a, a couple of more weeks. But I really think that taking off makeup, right here, Besame Cold Cream, perfect. So I hope that you guys like that demonstration. I look like the Joker right now. I hope that you guys like the demonstration. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And all right, guys. See you later. Peace.